screens, screens and more screens, but which one is right for you? It's probably one of the most important parts of a PC. It is your immersion and you want to make the right call. So today we're taking a look at two of MSI's most popular options. The 27 inch 170 Hz Mac 27.5 CQRF QD and the 40 inch 155 Hz MAG 401 QR. Two great 1440p monitors that have a ton of features, but which one will be best for you? Let's start with the 27 inch. Overall, it's got some pretty great specs. It's a curved 170 Hz VA panel that boasts a one millisecond G2G response time, which is really fast. I would say this one is more for people who want to play competitive titles or just love a really smooth experience, especially in games where frame rates matter and it doesn't necessarily matter how colorful it is or that's what you'd expect because it's a VA panel. We all know that VA panels are known to be a little bit more dull. This one did come out fighting though with HDR support and Quantum Dot technology, which gives it an impressive 96% DCI-P3 rating, 94% Adobe RGP and 74% REC 2020 coverage. The MAG 401 QR on the other hand is a 3440 by 1440p ultra wide display with the same one millisecond GTG response time, although it does come with a slightly lower 155 hertz refresh rate. It is an IPS panel though, so what it lacks in refresh rate, it should make up for in color recreation. Or so we think. Funny enough, it actually has a lower DCI-P3 coverage than the 27 inches VA panel, coming in at only 94%. Although it is worth keeping in mind that most gaming situations, the difference won't even be that obvious. So it's not something to be concerned about unless you're a content creator or you're somebody that really needs to rely on color accuracy. I'll pull up two tables right now so that you can directly compare them with each other from the refresh rates to the color accuracy and whatever else you'd need to compare. Feel free to pause the screen. I'm moving on to the MAG 401QR's extra screen size. It's probably its biggest selling point to be honest. The multitasking on a wider aspect ratio is definitely more immersive. If you're a sim racer or you just love getting lost in massive open worlds, I'd definitely say this is a plus and a must buy. I do personally wish that it was curved for that more of an immersive factor. However, I know curved screens aren't for everyone, so this definitely doesn't count as a negative. However, I really like my curved MSI monitor. There's a video on my page if you want to have a look at that. This is a 32 inch ultra wide screen. Anyways, both of the monitors we looked at today comes with USB pass through, which plugs into your PC and lets you connect things like your mouse and keyboard directly to the screen. This also gives you access to MSI's intelligence app, which has tons of features, including controlling the screen's RGB, adjusting the screen settings on the fly. You can basically tweak your monitor settings mid game from your computer using your mouse and keyboard, which is a real lifesaver, especially if you have mounted your screen to the wall and you can't get to the little doohickey. Both screens support MSI's KVM feature which basically lets you control multiple devices using one mouse and keyboard. This might sound pointless to most people but it's actually a really useful feature if you're a streamer who has a streaming PC and a gaming PC or a Mac and a PC power user where each device has its own mouse and keyboard. It just simplifies the whole thing and it frees up some desk space. Moving on to the monitor stands, both of them come with great adjustable stands included in the box and supports VESA mounting. I honestly think monitors these days should just come with included desk mounts to be honest. I mean these screens come with such massive stands unless you have a huge desk you won't have space for them. So at the end of the day, would I recommend any of these screens? Well, it depends on the person. I think if you're in the market for a good all-purpose 27-inch monitor, the 27.5 CQR FQD is definitely a solid option. The 40-inch is definitely more of a niche product if you're looking for pure screen real estate, it's not bad, but I would personally prefer a curved screen, especially when it gets this long. However, both of these screens are fantastic. And I can highly recommend any of them. You can find the links to buy them in the description below. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. As you know, these links are affiliate links. So when you buy, I get to upgrade the channel and put out better videos for you guys. See you in the next one. This was Stefan from WeRootTech, out.